Now listening to the In My Opinion podcast, the home of edutainment, brought to you by Sakali, DTM, and Uzuma. So get your drinks, snacks, relax, and enjoy. Yo, 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 it's your boys at the In My Opinion podcast. We're back again. We are sorry for the wait. Come on. I am your boy, Melinda the Fourth, aka Sakali. DT, don't talk, just listen. Any of our Uzama is a counterfeit, you can tell by their outfit. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so laughing. I'm like, why are you crazy. laughing? They said my intro was too long, so I had to trim it I'm down. I'm not going to lie, yeah. You need to find somewhere else to trim <laughs> it, bro. <right? laughs> it sounds very, like, abrupt. Like, you just come into, like... Wait. Okay, I'll, I'll work on it. I thought you were singing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real... But that caught you by surprise, Sonny? Yeah. Uh, I feel like there should have been something else before it. Before what? The name? Yeah, but before when I used to do it, you lot said it's too long. No, like even like a word, just to make it seem like you're about to... Or at least say hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> any other... Okay, no taking. <laughs> no, but for me, I'm happy. Whatever makes you comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hi. So, listen, today we've got a very, very special guest in the building. We've got a great episode for you. Come on. Yep. For me, I feel like she has brightened up her day. Mm. See what I did there? I see what you did there. Come on, G. <laughs> We got none other than Sonny in the studio. Come on. Sonny. Yo, it's going to be a new thing now. We start clapping for our guests. Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah, yeah. let, let them feel yeah. welcome. Yeah, Sonny, yeah, Sonny. start doing that. Sonny, you're welcome. Thank mm. you. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Relax nervous. now, yeah? Woo, nervous. Still nervous. nervous? Yeah. How could you be nervous when you're wearing a bonnet? <laughs> <laughs> if you're wearing you a bonnet, that's you know No, nah, if you're wearing a bonnet, you must be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, true. No, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm just like... Yeah. What do you think, like, uh, you know Monique, the comedian? No. The one that was in the Parkers? No. Eh, but no. Oh, you don't? You're Moshe. No, you wasn't Monique. Monique. No. Big, big. The Parkers? Big no. Sister. Wow. Mo- Moesha? No. Wow. Okay. Um, how, Where do I go from here? Yeah. Was I supposed uh, to grow up watching this? Huh? Was I supposed to grow up watching it? Yeah. Well, I think so, yeah. Everyone right. grew up watching Moesha, the Parkers. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was not watching She said, I like that. She said, I was reading books. I don't know what y'all niggas were doing. Okay, fair enough. Well, Monique, she's a big comedian and she does not rate women wearing bonnets outside the house. What do you think about that? Yeah, okay. I don't think that's, she cares. That's... No, I, oh, I obviously don't. I think she should just stay in her house. Then. <laughs> <laughs> she really don't wear the bonnet outside. Of. She said it's very uncouth. She even said uncouth. What? That's why I learned the word. That word uncouth. Is Where is uncouth. she from? What is she... What? Monique, American. she's a big American me- comedian. But is she African American yeah. or she's African American? Yeah, she's black. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. She said, "My sisters, I love you, my babies. I'm Y'all can't was... be wearing bonnets outside the house, my babies." And that's how she talks. As yeah, well. my babies. babies. It does not look good, my babies. So, my baby, how do you? <laughs> Very patronizing. Yeah, that's how. She, that's what she said. I don't. Because really basically, care. I think I, she in I America. I don't even know who she is. I don't that's even know her. So how old are like, you? How old am I? Yeah. Oh, it, oh, 24, sorry. Twenty-four, I think. Oh, that's why. You think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You never that's know, why, really. That's why 24, they're not going to know Moesha. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's true. That's I know a lot of things from my age, you'd be surprised. But not Moesha. No, because she's clearly irrelevant. Do you know Brandy? Yeah. That's where she like started Moesha. That was her show. Yeah. Let this one go. Let it go. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Sometimes it. I don't know when to let things go. I don't. I should I, let it go. Yeah. Anyway. We'll show it to you after, don't worry. Yeah, we'll show it to you after. Sunny, how are you, Van Nang? Um, I'm feeling good. You're feeling good? Yeah. You're here mm-hmm. on the male podcast. Mm-hmm. I think that's the energy that's really overwhelming me right now. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. There's a lot of masculine energy in here. Wow. Is that is mm. that good? Bad? Was that, was that as I sit with you? Um, <laughs> not really good. So I don't wow. think I've been in a room with this many men before. Many. Alone. The way Alone. she said, there's no, not many. You know, <laughs> there uh, there is, there's so many men in here. But like, there's only two people behind us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like two on this side, and yeah. it's just like, yeah. Well, are, we, are we not doing enough to make you feel comfortable? That's a no. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, my bad. Yeah, you're doing enough. You're not really doing anything. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, should we do some icebreakers yeah, to make you feel comfortable? Let's do that. Let's yeah. Do that. I think Uzama has some icebreakers. Yeah. Okay. That we can help to break the ice and make Sunny and feel more yeah, comfortable. Tension and just. <laughs> Sonny, hopefully we can <laughs> hopefully we can bring the sun with this. In it, my East African I'm here sister. To bring the sun. Feel comfortable, but now you okay. Okay. more water. <laughs> <laughs> Let kidding. me bring this. Uh... Do you understand the same language? No, she speaks Swahili. About... Yeah. yeah, where are you from? Um, so that people can I'm from Kenya and Tanzania. Kenya and Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Don't, mm-hmm. don't 
Oh. Which one is your more lit side? Tanzania. Really yeah, interesting. Mm. It does. It's, yeah. Yeah. Right there. it's got normally Kenyans that I Kenyan thought one. would be more lit and the nightlife and Kenyans stuff. Kenyans are annoying. Wow. I find them really annoying. Really? Wow. Why? Tagupiga wewe. <laughs> like, do you know my mum's I don't know I just find them annoying oh, so mm. what happened to Akuna Matara and all that <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with it I'm You're not, not with, with it, it. I just no. yeah I, lo I love my countries but Tanzania takes the, mm. takes the win Zanzibar and all that sick sensational Zanzibar. wonderful so who's from so, where dad's from Tanzania mum's from Kenya oh, okay. yeah, wow. like, normally girls would take their mums Really? Yeah, like in terms of like, oh, because they grew up with their mum, they'd be like, yeah, I thought mm. you'd be more Kenyan, but you've gone daddy's side. Yeah, interesting. Oh. Daddy's girl. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. Kind of. Well, they co-parented well, even when we weren't living together. So. Beautiful. Yeah, it was nice. great. Yeah, he still loves her very dearly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A lot. I don't think she feels the same though. Oh, well. she, moved, she moved on? <laughs> Look at DT going straight in there. She's, yeah, DT, she signed up. Good. This is going to require a lot of sessions to <laughs> bring in. Yeah. He can't be. <laughs> it's going to yeah. require a lot. Listen, I'm trying to make him feel comfortable. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way. Yeah. She's not easy yeah. to... Yeah, no, you're not intimidating. You guys no. just... Yeah. Oh, Mom, no that, one can come for this yeah, girl, yeah, I promise yeah. you. No one can troll this girl, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's just out here trying to make us feel bad, but really, yeah. Yeah. she's not yeah. that enjoying. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, he's okay. right. He's right. I'm going to do that. Yeah, she's annoying. He's right. He's not lying. I am calm. Oh, so I just kind of need to get so shall we start? Go ahead, okay. break the ice. The ice is about to be broken. Mm. So the first icebreaker is, how do you have your steak? Uh, mm. Mm. Rare, medium rare. Huh? <laughs> What's a rare, medium rare? What? Yeah, rare. Bloody. Yeah. Or medium rare? Yeah. You're moving mad. Either or like, you don't mind either. So you can yeah, still see blood. Yeah, oh, that's practically disgusting. Practically pink is pretty much seared. <laughs> when did you how did you were you with a Caucasian man is that what introduced you oh to God, this oh god no 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 That's no um, <laughs> no because <laughs> no 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 I no, no, no. Like it's bad. I just no, mean I'm just trying to understand how a <laughs> black woman like went straight to rare yeah rare is crazy literally yeah. they're just putting a pan and just literally, bringing yeah. back pan pan twice. <laughs> nah man that's yeah. rare. I that's, think that's, that's, that's the way to have steak where did you ah. get that viewpoint from um, my daring personality. I don't mm. know. One day I just thought, well, it's, I thought it was disgusting, but, but you, I wanted you to do it. it and now I like it. Now you like it. Yeah. Apparently it's healthier that way though. I just, really? yeah, I think it's, it? the, it's a way to have steak. How do you man have your steak? I used to, medium, yeah, I think I have medium well done. I used to have well done before, but now yeah, I've gone medium you're well. well. You're medium yeah, well. Medium yeah, well. yeah same no here. Blood, when I turned yeah. 30, I think he was from work, right? Because mm. I work um, with uh, very high profile people mm. that don't share the same skin tone as me. Mm. Okay. You get. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, one time I went out with them and I ordered a very well done steak. And the, look the way, you got in it. bro, it, uh, you can't do that. Yeah. This is a dry Angus <laughs> from 20 years or whatever. You know how to get excited about how long yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. aged. <laughs> so you have to have it at least a medium. At the r I'm like, bro. No, I but like you know, if you're going to eat Caucasian people food, just eat it how they eat it. Because imagine if they ate your food and tried to twang it in their own way. We get mad when they don't season stuff. Sure. So why, why would, you know, if I'm going to have a steak, I'm going to have it the way they have their steak. Right. I want them to eat my food the way I eat it. If I give you a garlic, don't. Don't, mm. don't play about with it. Don't ask me for it differently. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. No. No, no. I am now medium, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been transferred. Medium well or medium, medium rare? Medium. So medium. I, was, I went well done. Then I went to medium well. Then I realized there's no much difference between medium well, well and well. Yeah, yeah. So I'm now medium. medium little pink inside. Just okay, Sonny, the next question <laughs> is, what's one thing about you that most people don't know? Uh, you eat Good. pink things. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows. He hasn't even drank, Everyone so I don't know what he's excusing. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. That people don't know. Do you know what? I feel like people don't know a lot of things about me, really. Mm. Um, Can you share one? What's of one thing that people would be so surprised about? Oh my gosh. Probably that I'm a convict. Convict music. Ooh, so probably that I'm an ex-offender. 
wow. that I've done time. That's probably one thing. I could never tell. That's so pretty like this. I feel like that was so shady. No, I'm serious. I could never yeah, tell. Yeah, pull him up. Pull him up okay. on it. Pull him up yeah. on it. If you feel like he's <laughs> being shady, serious. pull him up I on it. I have that look though. Like, you just don't believe what I say. Because the way you I, said it, you're yeah, like... I could never tell. No, okay. seriously. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what it is? It's because you're a pretty girl. It's very hot and very well spoken. Yeah. To imagine you inside. Huh? Doing up, locked up. The guy let me out. No, <laughs> uh, I was not. I was not sad about it. Oh. I had a good time. It was, it was a good. Yeah, it was had a good, good time. time. It was wow, right. I feel like we need to dive deeper into this. <laughs> yeah. now. I mean, you know what? I'm not encouraging people to go there. I'm yeah. not promoting it. But um, these situations are what you make it. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can't. Yeah, no. I don't look back at it and think, oh god. Mm. Is there more icebreakers, or can we? There is another. There's oh, one more icebreaker, me... I think. But yeah, yeah. but wait, wait. That's cut her off. Do you? Are you <laughs> <gonna finish? laughs> No, he didn't cut the... me off. I was. No. We're gonna to get stop into it. Don't definitely. worry, because oh, I feel okay. like we need to get. But wait, <laughs> do, do you know have I mean? anything about you lot that no one knows? That'd be surprised. No, I, I think I told my one last time. What did he tell you? The pick feet, up you, feet. Feet. you know what? Yeah, you had me just trying to pick up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally. And how, how far did you get? <laughs> bro, it's lost, bro. Yeah. So funny. Last week we had it, and he answered the question. He said he picks up things with his feet all the time. And mm. I, I don't know why no, it I killed me. I do it all the time. What did you I say? Thought, no, sorry, I, thought sorry. I, could, I could do it. No, but you I said did that. That's normal. I thought everyone you did that. Your, yeah, Sunny. like I, Sunny. I, I grab things with my hand and like pass it to no, no, no. myself. He told me why you said you grab remote. Remote? Yeah, How? Nah. Like you grab it with your toes he even you said toes must stretch. I'm starting to like you. Sunny. He said he. Switch yourself off the light with his feet. <laughs> Why not? No, Why that's not? doing too much. I can put my middle finger up with my toe. Crazy. Ooh, uh, you're advanced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mad. Yeah. Oh, God, that was, I can't do uh, that. I need to practice that one today. But no. Try it. Uzi, you never answered your own. I don't know. I think I've exposed myself a lot in this podcast <laughs> already in the past. So, really, honestly, there are not many things about Should me. Should I give them one? Uh, there is one thing that I hide about, him. about myself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. Uh, <laughs> I you want to tell something about him. <laughs> I, once, I once won a beauty pageant. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did that, How did that happen? So, when I was 18, I got approached to do Mr. and Mrs. East Africa. Mm. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> yeah, East Africa. And they said that you get a free photo shoot. And I was very vain back in those days, by night. Oh, them photo shoots. Oh, them photo shoots. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you'd be on Oxford Street and someone would invite you for a photo yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not knowing you have to pay for the outcome. So, uh, yeah, I entered. And I, okay, I didn't for win. Mr. and I, Mrs. Mr. Did. and Mrs. Yeah. So, I, I was meant to win, as I was told by the judges. But because I didn't come to every rehearsal, they they they, they just made me Mr. Popular. Mm. Oh, so I entered wow. the beauty pageant. Wow. Mm, Mr. Sukali. That doesn't shock me though. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should be offended or <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shocked she at all. Why? A problem. I told you. Wow. Why? Wow. I can't just look at you. You got she... silk press the other day. Oh, like, why, wow. why are you shocked? She Why just spilling all my business. Okay, fair enough. Listen, it's not sure. So you need to reveal something else. That's all sure I have for enough. you this That's week. That's all you have for, for this week. week. Maybe yeah. next guest I'll bring something else. Maybe. Yeah? Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the last one, the final one. If you if you could choose to eat, if you could choose to either eat whatever you want and never have to worry about your health or putting on weight or never have Never have to sleep and face the consequences of lack of sleep. What would you choose? Give mm. me the food mm. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm greedy. Yeah, I'm so greedy. I like sleeping, yeah. man. I don't yeah, you yeah, like yeah, sleeping, I like sleeping as well, you know. Now I hear it, but do you know what? I was of the same thing, but now, when you think about it, yeah, how much things could you do if you didn't have sleep eight hours a day? Not a lot. Uh, every. <laughs> I'm joking. But what I'm just saying is that, bro. I think I enjoy sleep, bro. Imagine, bro, you could, you could eight hours. That's an additional eight hours you can get in your life. Yeah, let me tell you something, yeah. You're, you're going to be sick of yourself because you're going to find yourself awake where everyone is sleeping. <laughs> that's and true. you look around. That's true. And everyone's quiet. That's, that's dead. True. I want to eat, bro. Food. No, that's facts, so. though. Give me food, bro. Imagine mm. I'd be able to eat any. Because you know how many times I've been walking? Right? Even the other day when we were out. I yeah, don't know exactly. if you saw. Yeah. There was... Um, 
uh, ice creams, right, that they do in a croissant. So the croissant is the cone. Mm. And they, they, they hollow it and they put the ice, ice cream, cream in, in there. there yeah. And I said to these men, I can't. Calories. Calories. I, calories. I said calories. Yeah. Like, it's too late. Smart it's after that. eight. Did mm-hmm. men watch their calories? Oh, this no, man does. does. This does. man does. I don't know about the other men. Why? That's really strange. Don't you see this figure, nigga? <laughs> that's, that's, really, that's really odd. Yeah. That's very so odd, you... isn't it? Wow. I can't imagine that. <laughs> feel like I'm being judged calories, over there. Yeah, because I've got weight easily, so I can't just eat anything willy-nilly. But he's been like this for the longest, though. But you, what, what, what's your, what's your, um, what comes to mind? When? Hearing that. That's scary. You, it's scary. Wow. That's really, that's boring. Do you have, like... Mm. An eating disorder. I don't. I think, like, for me, it's just a fitness thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good man. So everyone else is, everyone's eating. No, no, no one's sleeping. I don't. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, 100%. So you, yours is like, don't sleep. No, no, no. I initially think eating, but I'm years. thinking, even with this podcast, how much more things we could do if we didn't have to sleep? Mm, I hear that. Think about mm. how much more content could we create if we didn't have to sleep? I hear No, well, I hope, is the ice broken? Are you comfortable now? Yeah. I doubt that. <laughs> nah, I, like, the fridge yeah. is still defrosted. I know, that's what I'm saying. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to enter our dilemma section, which mm. I know you oh, overly enjoy mm-hmm. because you mentioned it to me. I don't know if you remember. Probably don't. Probably not. But cool. Uh, we're going to read a dilemma and yeah, just want to get your thoughts on it, right? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Kakati. Mm. My best friend is trying to finesse me out of 1,250 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and I am not having it. <laughs> My friend and I decided we wanted to better our skills in influencer marketing, so hmm. we made a goal to complete a course within the next year. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I did not have the money at the time, but my friend's husband must have overheard our conversations and bought her the 2,500 pound course for her birthday. Wow. Are you with me? As a bowler. Uh-huh. Mm. Now, because my friend knew I couldn't afford the course at the time, she let me use her code so I could also take the course. Mm. You know, sometimes it seems you can... Mm. Once you have the course, mm-hmm. you can share the code. Whoever. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Now, her husband had access to her progress, and so she had done 20% of the course. Right. But because she hadn't actually taken the course, it was actually me. So when he asked her how the course was going, she admitted to him she hasn't taken it yet and it was me using the code. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. He got very angry and demanded that I pay for half the course since I was taking it without his permission. But for me, I felt as a friend, she should have given me the course for free. Now she's calling me, demanding I pay half of the course, which is £1,250. mm but yet for me, I'm saying if I'm going to pay anything, I should only pay 20% of the course, which is £500. Can you guys tell me who is in the wrong and who do you think should pay for the course? Over to you. I think the right thing to do is pay for what you use. Mm. I think. Okay. Why? You pay for the, you took 20%. Mm. So just pay your 20%. Surely. If she took half of the, if she completed half of the course, then pay for half the course. Mm. But did it was it stated at the start though? I think that's my issue. Mm. Like, <clears throat> if you're gonna, if we're friends, mm-hmm. and you're saying, "Oh, you're letting me use something because you know I don't have the money," mm. it should have been. St- I, I would appreciate saying, "Oh, you, oh yeah, you're doing this based on this, so I'm hoping you're gonna pay me X amount. We're gonna split it when you get the money." But you didn't say nothing. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. to me, I thought oh, you're just being my friend. Mm. Yeah. And now you're spending this on me. So the guy. The husband. The husband uh-huh. mm. is the one directly asking the friend for the money. or From what it seems, he's asking the money through her because... So right. he's upset that I've bought you something and someone else is using it. Basically. No, but I think he should just yeah. be mad at his... His girl, yeah. His yeah. girl. Yeah, like, you are you Going taking to it to... the girl's friend. Mm. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't think... Okay, fair enough. If it wasn't discussed beforehand, if she didn't say, okay... You know, you're, I'm going to give you my code to use, but under the conditions that mm. contribute as well, mm. then fair enough. Like, no one should, there should be no qualms about the money, but Facts. Mm. yeah, there just shouldn't be. But it's, I'm just thinking, me personally, yeah, what would friend, you do? I would just give the 500 pounds. Would you keep the friendship or would that, would that impact your friendship? That would impact my friendship. Mm. Person, yeah, it would.
good because um, <coughs> I would give them the money and then we wouldn't be, and be done. Yeah, and be done there. I swear. Yeah, I'd just give them the, the money and just. Some yeah. things, man. But that's just personally because I just would hate to have someone walking around talking about the facts. Oh, money. yeah, you did twenty percent of the course, and <laughs> oh, you didn't give me the money back. It's like, ugh, no, have it, take it, goodbye, bye, go. Mm. Like, let's leave it there. That's so it. I'm, I'm now I can go to bed knowing that I haven't taken anything from you for free, mm. even if initially it was supposed to be that way. Mm. Because people tend to like do things and expect something, but they don't make that clear. They don't. Until things go left and then it's like, you know what I mean? It's like having someone living in your house. You've never asked them for rent. The moment something goes wrong, oh, you need to, you owe me this much money because you know, the water bill is, mm, but you never said true, that yeah. until we fell out. So I myself would rather just give it's called, my section It's called disruptive. It. I just give it a beat up. What? Are you looking? Okay? Mm -hmm. It's called disruptive. That's so stupid, bro. Why uh, are you looking? That's me. Right, if I speak, yeah. if I speak, I'm no, I'll be in trouble. No, I'm just saying it's yeah, called yeah. disruptive, isn't it? Yeah, that, 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 that's yeah. what we've labeled that behavior. What would you do if you did? Big bad thing you can chat from now to next week, bro. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running your bread, bro. Like, that, man, we never discussed this, brother. Mm. What Easy we did not. The bread, bro. Yeah, because we never discussed it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've voiced out to my friend that I haven't got bread. Mm. You've said, okay, cool. This is not even a thing where I've had to. If I've got the course already, By the and way. it's like, bro, how many people's login people use even like in things? Adobe? Yeah, everything. if I'm yeah. already paying for it. It's not costing me to help you, like, because you've expressed that you, you ain't got the money to. What's my issue, bro? Like, I think, you know I think that takes me into that um, that thing as well of people that buys you present, isn't it? Mm. And have an expectation in terms of how you use that present. Ooh, let's talk about it because I feel like you're at me, but it's okay. No, it's not. Because there's another one I wanted to get into. Because why are you smiling at me? No, there's another one I wanted to get into. Why are you smiling at me? But after you, why are you smiling at me? No, no. Why is he smiling? No, he's hard but I'm just saying. I'm just saying because my main thing is like, yo, I think to me, the husband or the boyfriend, whatever he is, yeah, like. You've paid for that already. It's done. Just look at me. Stop looking at her. <laughs> You're trying to avoid me. <laughs> <Is it laughs> right? Why is that? Why does he think I'm at it? Because I know. You, you... Okay, sorry. Let me let you land. Apologies. Okay, now I see why you think exactly. I'm at it. Exactly. Okay. It's my own insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. That makes sense now. Okay, mm -hmm. I see why you think I'm at it. That makes sense. But no, I'm not. I genuinely wasn't at it. But now I'm at it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, like, bro, if you've bought someone something, you've bought it. To take a like, remove your eyes from that, bro. Yeah, yeah, whatever they do with it, it is what it is. But I so if it. you spent two and a half bags to do something, why are you not saying run the bread back? Why? No, but you know what it is. I think what hurts the most is, in his mind, he wants to help his girlfriend succeed. It's, I hear that. It's very beneficial. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not just a a gift and a go. It's like my girlfriend's trying to get somewhere. You're investing in her. Exactly. So he's like, I'm trying to invest in you and take you further. And you've given it to your friend. Yeah, so taking the money back. What is, I can understand that him being upset. Is the girlfriend that it, clearly showing that she doesn't even value it herself? That's what mm, you're saying, though. Mm, That's what you're saying. So he's saying. thinking, he's probably thinking like, yo, I can't even ask her back for this bread, but let me use yeah. her cousin, her friend as a decoy. <laughs> to get some of the Because he can't it's, go to the girl to ask, oh, you know what? Oh, baby, I'm upset now. Give me half. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You become disruptive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. But but that's what I'm saying though. That's but bad. I've got I've got another one here yeah, because uh -huh. bro, I might be guilty of this as well. Yeah, because like okay, imagine now, you know, men like you buy your girl like some nice. Because you know, sometimes some people, like for me, I don't mind. Like there are certain things that I wouldn't mind borrowing to someone. But there are also certain things that I might not throw to someone kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, example, mm -hmm. like, me and my brother, we used to be the same size. But he will, used to it, be. We're still the same size, okay, but great. when we lived together, he will buy... If I went and bought something, he will buy the same exact thing mm. because he doesn't want to... Share with you, yeah. And this is when we could buy a different colour and then just... Yeah, share. Cool. So imagine, would you like have a problem, say, like, you've bought your girl one nice handbag... For mm. our birthday, mm. like, bag, like a bag, innit? You, you don't, you don't have a bag. And then, 
Or like she, her, her friend is just but do you see the like always using what you've it. Just That's said. mad though. What? Did you hear what you just said? Uh-huh. What's, what's the difference? Heard, I, don't I don't think I heard it. I bought this for my when girl. I, no. When I buy myself trainers, when my brother buys himself trainers, oh, yeah, that yeah. is then you. It's the only person who's responsible for that. Is you. like, do you know what I mean? It's you and your brother. But when someone else is gifting you something, you. Mm. it's different. Mm. Like I can't. If my boyfriend buys me something, I'm not sharing it with my friend. What G- girl? No, that's mm. not, no, <laughs> no. Mad, though. absolutely not. But, but if I buy something, but, but it, it, no, no. But I, do you know why I push that question there? Because. Me, I might say me have an issue. With that. Well, like, come on. Like, but you're saying if I've bought you something, it's no, yours now. No, the, no. The, the, do you the get question, my point? No, do you, no, do you no, see no. where I'm coming from? No, let me pose a question. Okay, for example, right? Let's say your boyfriend bought you, um, or girlfriend buys you uh, a me. pair of... Um, <laughs> Excuse me. No, like I'm saying... Excuse okay, me. All right, cool. Like, all right, what? My boyfriend. He was a slip on the tongue. Not. He made yeah, a mistake. I don't want to be, like, specific, like... Because I don't know, innit? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, be, yeah. like, oh... Well, I'm, I'm telling you, yeah, I have a boyfriend. Know, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, her boyfriend. So, so let's say, like, cool. Your boyfriend buys you, like, a pair of, like, very, like, nice trainers, something like you... You know what I mean? You might not want it, but, like, a high-end, luxurious yeah. stuff. Expensive. Do you think he now should be controlling like where you, how you wear it? Imagine you might, you're going to the corner shop quickly. You put it on, you go down. He's like, yo, why are you wearing this to there? Why are you wearing it over there? Why, this is only for a special occasion. Do you think now it's okay to be policing that? Definitely not. It's not yours to decide how I use it. I would just, if I was my boyfriend, I'd be like, well, she clearly doesn't value it. So that's the last time I buy it. <laughs> Anything nice for her True. again? Sunny, so he's basically at me. That's what he's doing right now. Oh, I wasn't thought, mentioning that. I, I, I would prefer like, no. if you just put my name to it, in it. Because basically, yes, um, at the time I bought my girl some Valentinos and she literally wore them to the shops and to work. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? And I think I bought a Valentino and a Gucci bag and yeah, she's just using it will, willy-nilly and it really, I came to the man them. Soul, yeah. it, uh, <laughs> no, because it really pissed me off because I'm like, bro, like, how can man spend all that money and you're wearing the Valentinos that I bought you to, to, to the I shops. For her, she's that's disrespectful. But she don't and value she designers though. So it is doesn't it? matter. It doesn't matter. She mm. should value the fact that you spent a lot of money to get her something nice, something valuable. Can like, you talk wow. on this? It doesn't matter. No, you weren't you saying that. No, no, no. That but it's like when someone gives you something and it's a very humble gift. Mm-hmm. You cherish it. You're not mm. just gonna be like, oh, oh, that didn't cost much. I'll just thank no, you. Like, I still disagree, take care of it the See? same way you're gonna take care of something that costs. No, no, but but to a certain extent, yeah. I feel like obviously we've been, I've probably Respectful. been guilty of that in the past. I think that mentality sometimes comes from a place of like poverty and not being able to. <laughs> no, like I I'm a bit real. Poverty no, and not being able facts, to afford. Bro. Poverty and not being able to afford certain things. Yeah, that's why I always say, yeah, like you see, like when people they get things like they might make money, they want to hold on to it so closely. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, I just feel like, no, no, bags. no, no, not bags, <laughs> but you know, like, oh, like, you know, like, before, like, you know, like, no, talk before, about like, it, when man, they might buy one designer, it's like, yeah, like, only when man's stepping out, nah, bro, if I want to nah, wear it to the bro. shop, I'm wearing it to the, the shop. shop, if I feel like I want to wear designer to come and record today, I'm, I'm going to wear it to record, so that's why I always, when I talk now, I always say, everyone should just pray to God that, God, please keep providing for us, so, so we can, can continuously... This. Be able to buy this thing whenever we want because right, okay. well, these things they got out of season anyways. I want to. You Listen, know what I'm saying you want to. To your point, if it's jewelry or something like like very sentimental, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trainers, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. shoes. These are meant to be worn, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like so, that if you're wearing to the so, huh? if she puts it in the that's shelf true. now, don't wear it at all now. That's another problem again, and it's yeah, collected dust. Upset. So what's yeah. the point? Now I'm actually no. wearing it, so that means I, I actually that. like it. So the fact mm-hmm. that I'm wearing it. To the Why shops. are you concerned where I'm wearing it to? To the shop. That's do you know? Much. No, do you know what it is? I think the problem here is how you respect an item and how it's how you yeah, treat yeah, yeah, the yeah. item. And how, so if she wears it frequently, like say for example, she's always going out, she's always wearing it, she's dressed up, she's dressed down, whatever. I think for you, what irks your soul is <laughs> you spend this money. <laughs> bro, oh, like so you might not forget how much Valentino costs. Yeah, bro, 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 um, someone is wearing maybe Valentino's five boots to the shop. Mm. Yeah, brother, you're buying a car for 50 bags and driving it to the wow. shop, bro. It's expensive. Talk about like, wow. You know what I'm saying? 
Add a mileage in so, that. So should you not say, oh, you're only allowed to drive your car if you need to step <laughs> out there? Why are you driving the car to the shop, bro? Big facts, bro. Oh, why you, no, no big man thing. Why, why can't you walk why to the shop? Why do I feel like you lot are all against me? No, no, no. no, 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 no. against <laughs> you, but we're just saying because you have to talk with your chest like, yeah. oh. Everything like should be used. You paid point. to use it, so you just enjoy but that's it. But you get my point, though. Sonny doesn't. She did she before, does. but not anymore. I get it. You're I not, get it. To, to her, you're no car, longer like, Sonny. Analogy, I'm just like, wait, hang on a minute. Uh. I agree with you, because when I see people in like G-Wagons in London, I just think, where's the hill? Why do you need a 4x4? Four four? However, Jeez. what I would say <laughs> is... Is, is... No, do you know what I mean? It's like, why have you got that Fair car? Point. Are we in a safari? That's just Fair very, point. very odd. Or when yeah. you're in like a deprived borough and you see flashy... <laughs> a deprived <laughs> borough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> borough. That's funny. Uh, she got no money. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. So honestly, you should Cornish. see some of the cars in my area. And I just, I step outside and I think, come on, guys. We know that 80% of this road is owned by the council. You're not mm. going to sit here and convince me that you've got money just yeah, because of that car. Yours. It's Urs. so, oh, it's so irritating. Wow. But I get it. So I get what you're saying with that. But I also think... I know what irks your soul. I've because I've given someone something before and I've watched them use it and I just think that's not right. Like, can what I have it back it? then? What did exactly. You, what did you get? I don't think for, yeah. What did you, you get, get if you don't mind us asking? Um I don't remember what it is. I've given a lot of things. I don't remember what it is. But mm. I'll just give you an example. If mm. <laughs> if um I don't know, no, I can't think of one. I can't. It's okay. I can't, if it comes no. back to you, let us know. Yeah, no, back. I can't think of one. That's but but no, coming I know back to this I dilemma, then, yeah, yeah, my opinion is I feel like the plot twist could be the man's not even asking for the money. Oh, because I just thought, okay, that's enough. That's a Ooh. good question because why, it could did, be, I just try. why did she say, my friend is trying to finesse me? Because that's a start, isn't it? Yeah, that's what, 1, yeah. Two. Why did she feel Could it that, be though? that she's just using her husband as a scapegoat? And she wants to, because she's jealous that her friend's mm. got a head, you know, done 20% of the course. So she's like, yo, run me some bread. Because when I deep it, I'm not giving the bread. Do you know why? Because what's 20% of a course worth? I need 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, I'm only going to ever pay money if I'm going to get eventually get to finish the course. Mm, but it sounded right. like whatever I pay, <laughs> I'm not allowed yeah, to exit this course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So for me, it's like, if you're my friend and we had an agreement and now you've got to get the agreement, that's your own. That's facts. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Like, if anything, the worst case scenario, let me go and purchase a course for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying you no bread. Yeah, yep. I'm not paying you no bread. And I think that's a violation. And I feel like I don't like to talk on women's business, but I don't want to be cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> but men, I don't think this, com this conversation will even happen with a man. That's what I'm trying to. And the I, ego will be too much. That's what I'm saying, mm. bro. No, you made a very good point because now it's like, bro, because I'm trying to wrap my head around why would the husband that's paid for something go back to start asking because you didn't do the... I might be upset with you. Yeah. I'd be like, what? I paid all of that and you're letting your friends use it. We might have one or two words. I might be like, you know what? I might never do... I'm going to start thinking in the future if I'm going to even do certain things for you. Yeah? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. Tis now say, yo, go and ask you to run the bread back. Yeah. That, that sounds a bit I think it's weird that he's tracking her pro. As Don't well, that temperate. might not be weird. You know why? I'm not gonna lie, yeah. If Ooh. you know the temperament, something of you, you would do. No, you no, 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 yeah. Have they started? Was it like a cousin or? Is it your child though? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> but she, but she herself, Yo, she's rude. the one who wanted the course. He's not the one that said you should do this course. I That's bought true. it for you. So That's true. if she wants to do it, she should do it. I hear do it, but me. there's some Why people that he... need a bit of motivation. So you might log in and be like, "Babe, I seen you ain't started the too course grown yet." For that. Mm. You don't need no? motive. You're not in. You're not in school. Well, you know what you're I think. You know what I think. You're not in school. Not 100. But what I think is very important. Yeah, people need to start learning. Like about like the partners and like just French everyone in general, innit? Do you know what I'm saying to you? So it's like me. Like I wouldn't is like you know sometimes people want to do things because it's like, oh yeah, let's more let's but that might not be it's about knowing what that person likes and then investing yeah. into that, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? If you bought me a course to a certain extent, like ah, no, but, but with this, with this, if we it's about knowing what this, someone likes, and then no, but if but, we stick on this particular um, situation, right? She went to him to say, "Yo, she wanted to do that." Mm. He's like, "You saying yo, I want to go and do this course here? Yeah? I need to trust you, and I agree with you totally. Mm. Like as an adult, to 
go through with that. Like, if I have to be tracking you and doing all of that, you're probably not going to pass. Because clearly you're not motivated yeah, to yeah, want yeah. to do it anyway. You so will not be, be doing that out of pressure. Yeah, like, ah, oh, he's going to want, yeah. All these things. Like, I should expect yeah. you, like, you want to do it. You've gone through, like, whatever, and it's something you genuinely want to do. But I think to to your um overall <laughs> point, though, Sukali, I definitely agree with you, man. Like, she might be trying to finesse her friend. She might be trying to finesse her friend, Maybe know? speaking to other friends. Yeah. And then I say, what? You're letting her use, you know how friends, uh, girls have to talk to each other and like, oh, what? You're letting yeah. her use your girls friends? Do do, do, do. Nah, mm-hmm. you can't mm-hmm. be letting her, you can't you be letting that run. Then especially if she now gone, co- if this person is having this issue now, if she go and complete this course and pass the exam, it's another Look, problem. That's Look, true. and now she's getting now the qualification the of the back mm-hmm. home. That's true. So, mm. what then why would, would you... you give her the code in the first? Do you know place? what I mean? I don't it's all mad. Just don't because you know why? Things, you no, know. no, no. Let me tell you something. It is the epitome of that saying: people want to see you do well, but not better than them. Mm. Yeah. When she gave facts. me the code, maybe she didn't think you'd even do the course. Mm-hmm. And now she's seeing, but now this person's ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How do yeah. I stifle her progress? <laughs> Yeah, like no, people are like no, that, no. you know. You'd be so surprised. No, right. It's not people like she's malicious, like but she mm-hmm. doesn't want to see you doing that's crazy yeah. better that's than true. her. So, what do we advise our sister that she should just not pay? Don't pay the money. I won't pay, bro. My sister, don't she pay can't the go money. to the but, tribunal but then at the if same she wants. Time, that's I think that's us though. Me, I won't pay that. I'm bread. not paying I can't it lie, because I'm somebody that once we've agreed something, then I understand it. If we haven't, you can't just spring sign on me. And especially to... to I think point, you'll pay. You and Marvin no, will pay. No, but I, I will pay. pay. <laughs> Let me tell you what I wouldn't pay. It's because of the, the, the point that Sukali made where, it, look, listen, it's a course, bro. I need to finish this thing to get the qualification. Exactly. Why am I paying you for a percentage of it? So I've done nothing, basically. The two of you will pay. No, however, though, <laughs> of I, you do, pay. I do then agree to your point in terms of some people, though, yeah, I get it. Like, yo, they don't even want to anything anybody saying something about money this or even yeah. give them the opportunity to go and build a story yeah. to say oh did it uh, you know what I, i'll pay just take this just take it and, and then we're done I, I understand i so can you understand pay. that as well. i might yeah. for that, per- that purpose you you pay. yeah no i just i you just pay, don't man. i just don't like people talking about me with money about what me. i'll do when if you let me complete the course and get my then then i can go house with you what to give you, it don't make no sense, bro. It don't, it don't. Yeah, they don't. know I'm not paying. My sister Uza says go tribunal, so. Yeah, tribunal. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Take it to trial. Yeah, trial. so. Do you know what I really just don't understand? <laughs> if they both do the calls, do they both get the certificate? Because why did you give her the code? No, I think, it's I, too, no, I think the way those what things just... work, like it's like they both study the course to take an exam. Oh, take, take an, an exam. exam. That's why it yeah. works. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, so yeah. that's why, so if I've done the course, there's a course, And then there'll be there's my see. login, Study for the course, and then they have to pay Paper individually. Yeah, because initially to take there's the no logic to that. No, no, no. Oh. They, yeah, that's how it works. They have to hey, pay. He's been here before. Mm, I know you've done a lot, many courses. No, I know how it works. Yeah, I've not on. done many. I should have, but I know how hey, it works. You should yeah, have. Yeah. I like the accountability. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're the one that's trying to stifle someone's By the way. No, 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 no. I've not done any course yet, but they are all on Udemy. Is it Udemy? Our sister, please. We advise you not to pay. Yeah. But <laughs> worst, worst case scenario, <laughs> tell your problem. friend to complete the course and you'll pay half. Yeah, yeah. There, there, we that. there we go. So, all right, we're going to move on to our main topic of today, swiftly, moving on swiftly. We want to talk the one about... The I've been waiting for. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm. We want to talk about, do prisons actually rehabilitate offenders? Mm. Very important topic. And I feel like... As you wonderfully... Why not bring an offender in? <laughs> I did not <laughs> see it like that. <laughs> she wanted to the information. Is the offender in the room with us? No, you're <laughs> so joking. I'm so before joking, you go, joking, I just want to give you a headline, yeah? That in 1779, the British government passed the Penitentiary Act, which made the rehabilitation of criminals a function of all prisons. Since then, while imprisonment has remained the central form of punishment in the criminal justice system... The emphasis on correction rather than punishment of an inmate has steadily increased. So do you agree with that? Being that uh, you just revealed that you were previously inside. I disagree. No. Mm. Okay. No, no, absolutely not. You don't believe? No, they don't rehabilitate you. Okay. They don't. No. Do you want to start from the beginning then, I'm guessing? So. Good God, where do I begin? You... When, I, when I first started criminal activities or the one I was caught the... doing? Let's um, all night. Okay. night. Yeah. So let's just go by. Okay, what was it that led to you getting caught? What what, what did you what what's what, what was you doing? I really say I was caught. Um, I'd say I pretty much handed myself in. Oh, <laughs> to oh. be honest, no, I say That's that because 
Yeah, no. <laughs> what you wanted? No, let you want no, no, not really. Let, let, let no, 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 no. I'm not a big time criminal. My um, my crime was very, very strange. Um, so basically, I my conviction was possession of a firearm with intent to cause an offence. Yeah. Now, when I say firearm, the first thing people think Damn, we didn't is... Search her before she came. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we didn't even search her, but no. Listen, they I'm didn't joking. find it. I'm they, 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 okay. they didn't really... You know I'm what? That's just, <laughs> it's, um, I say firearm and people are like, oh my God, it's a gun. Mm. And then also they think, right, a girl, possession of a firearm, who did you do it for? Who mm. did you hide it for? That is not completely wrong. What happened was... Um, I went to Thailand for my 17th birthday with my friend. And at the end of the the holiday, obviously, you go into a souvenir shop and you just you pick up, like, random things. Mm. I picked up a taser. Don't know why. Don't ask oh. me. Just did. Okay? Mm. There's no motive behind it. I just, I liked it. It was pretty. Mm. It was, it was diamond encrusted. Like, it had, like, little, oh, you know. Oh, so like, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it was cute. Mm. And, you know, they asked me if they, um, if, I wanted to customize it with my initials. And I was like, absolutely. Fabulous. <laughs> that, so that's what I did. Now I see where you talk you about. Yeah. So this is, this is <laughs> where it came from. Because yeah. people are like, where did you get it? Blah, blah, blah. This is how I got it. So I also picked one up for my mum. That's another story. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're trying to armor. Uh, army. <laughs> I just, do you know, I don't even know why. I don't know why. But I just put it in my suitcase like a normal person. Didn't think anything of it. Came back to the UK. Now, obviously, for legal reasons, I'm not going to disclose whether I used it or not. Mm -hmm. That's another yeah, story. I, story. Mm, I did. Mm. But um, one day I was driving in a car that was. Sorry, sorry. You got it into the country then? Yeah, no yeah. problem. Oh, okay. I had it for about two years. That's why I'm saying. Oh, I like you know. Okay. So, so w where I bought it when I was 17. Um, now you're 19, I'm tracking it. 18, 19, two years. No, I'm not 19. No, because you said you had it for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, yeah, so, yeah, because I went to prison when I was 19. Okay. Oh, okay. So I had it for about two years. In between that time, whether it was used or not is neither here nor there. Near here or there. However, <laughs> um, I was driving in a car. I just purchased the car that was previously owned by someone who was wanted by the police. Jeez. And you know when you buy a car and you get the green slip, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's just the new, you're just the new owner that yeah. time. Yeah. But by the time DVLA had got the information, um, no, DVLA hadn't got the information to, to know it's my car. It takes like yeah. six yeah. weeks, isn't it? Takes right, it takes a while for the for the blog book to come. So I was going somewhere and I was just followed by like an X5 and I just thought nothing of it. I thought, well, I've done nothing wrong. I feel like I'm skipping a huge part because it's just... Oh, you can tell it as bit. it comes to you. Yeah, I'm skipping yeah. a big bit. But you know what? I saw them. So I moved lanes. So they all set me. And they moved lanes with me. <laughs> and I was uh, like, okay. So then I moved lanes again and they moved with me. I thought, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's for me. This yeah. is me. This is me. This is me. But I can't pull over because I'm like on... I just couldn't pull over. There was yeah. nowhere to pull over. Yeah. I just had to keep going. So I thought, I'll keep going until I can pull over. And then when I did, they T-packed me. What's I, a T-pack, sorry? They they so like, it's like one goes in front, one goes beside you, one goes behind you. So they, okay. they boxed me Trumage. in okay. and then waved a gun in my face. And I just thought, hang on a minute. I'll roll down my window. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Excuse I'm all, me, officer. I just huh? thought, little old me. Like you I were like, thinking at the time. Bit, yeah, yeah. What I the just hell? Thought, this is a bit crazy. Like they pro at that time. Yeah, I just thought it was a bit crazy. So um, they were just like, oh, like wrong target, wrong target. Yeah, that's it's not the person that. We're okay. For. So immediately I knew that they weren't looking for me. So I was okay. just like, I was chill. I was just like, right, okay, cool. Um, and then they're like. Um, do you know the person who owns this car? And I'm like, I am the owner. So I give them a slip. And they're just like, oh, okay, like, um, that's fine. Could you just step out the car? <laughs> I stepped out the car. Damn. Needless to say. <laughs> you told them. <laughs> no. Some illicit drugs fell out of my car. Oh. <laughs> and I was like. Wow. Then he was just like, oh, obviously they saw it. Yeah. Um, 
And they were like, do you have any more? And I was like, yeah. a lot. Ooh. In the car? Yeah. <clears throat> I was okay. like, there's a lot in the car. There's <laughs> a lot in my bra. Like, do you want it? <laughs> or do you want me to take it out now? Or Yeah. So I went to the police station. I was just like, yeah, do you know, I've got, I've got a shitload of drugs on me. Um, and I gave it to them. I just handed it to them. And then they arrested me for that. So now they're trying to connect me with the person who they're oh, after right, right, and right. trying to put two and two together. So they're basically like, you, like, you know, you know you're this, this big person. time, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. And I'm just like, I'm really not. But okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, and as they are about to book me in, they obviously have to search or like count, account for all your things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I kept my Damn. taser at all times in my makeup bag. Because it was just, it became such, um, it became an accessory your, to me. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't, yeah, it was just always in my makeup bag. It was always in my bag. So as they were going through my items and listing them, they found the taser. And they were like, oh, what's this? I was like, oh, that's just my taser. So casually, just, oh, it's my taser. And they were like, sorry, what? <laughs> and I was Damn. like, my taser. <laughs> and they were like, okay. So then they were like, okay, you're under arrest for... You know, firearms, like, then they charged me with firearms there and then. And I thought, oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? And they were just like, you know you're going to get a long time for this. What? And I was like, mm, don't be so silly. I was like, I have it all the time. I carry it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I'm just crazy. Like, I was so confused. I was just like, what are you talking about? Like, I was, I was, I was awfully confused. I just couldn't figure out for the life of me why he was trying to troll me. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Firearm is such a reach, like, girl, <laughs> come, come on. on. You know, you sound like Generation Z, like, what do you mean, <laughs> yeah. firearm? Fire Nigga, this is a taser. <laughs> you can't kill so nobody. I was just like, mm, so, I was naive. Just like, so naive. I did not know it was illegal. I didn't. Also, side note, pepper spray is also classed as a firearm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. So, I'm, cool, just finding like, out, I'm just finding this crazy. out, man. I didn't know taser was on. Neither did I. I knew, I knew did the I. pepper spray one. I knew pepper spray was illegal. But yeah. I didn't know the class, they charge you as a, a firearm. firearm. That's yeah. mad. Yeah, they, they do. And in court, I found out the, about the pepper spray because in court, I was like, I should have just carried pepper spray. And my barrister was like, don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. You sound like the worst like, person to defend. Yeah. Yeah. Then, you know the maddest thing was I felt like because because of the drugs as well, mm. and now the fire they're up. trying to connect that. At, oh, yeah. that Lisa, you're really out here. Yeah, you're from pressing people trying to get your money as well, they especially said, people that are paying up. They labelled me like as I had a significant role in drug dealing. I was basically labelled a gangster. I was like, wow, a gangster. Okay. Yeah, like they really, really put that on me like I was like wow okay so you know I was in the cell for about I don't know maybe like a couple of hours um and um I don't know I just stared at the That's concrete crazy. walls wondering Mad. just wondering thinking um and then they um interviewed me um and stupidly um at this time legal aid was provided that's the mm. option I had. That's the option I took. At this point, I haven't even had a call to my parents. No one. Mm. So, you know, there might be people that are like, oh, well, it's legal aid. What do you expect? And it's like, I'm 18 years old. I'm in my first year of uni. I've just been arrested for this situation. The first thing I'm thinking is not to call my dad or my mom yeah, and be yeah, like, yeah, please get yourself. me the best lawyer you can. Mm, I've yeah, just facts. fucked up. Mm. Like, I'm like, mm. oh, legal aid. I don't know what that is, but they're going to bring me a solicitor. I'm like, cool. cool. Let me take it. They bring the solicitor. And the solicitor's like to me, look, like it's really bad. Like this is really bad. Go no comment. Okay. Stupidly, I listened and I regret, well, I don't really have any regrets, but had I just told the like my story, the way I'm sitting here telling you guys, I think uh, it would have been viewed differently. But going no comment just makes me look guilty because yeah. I'm just like, why am I going no comment? I can just tell them the truth. I don't mm. mind doing that. Like that's not an issue. Like. I don't see, I still didn't really see what I had done wrong enough to be going no comment. Mm. But I took their advice as their professionals. I'm an 18 year old, what do I freaking know? Mm. So um, I went no comment and it did come to bite me in the ass in court. Cause on trial they were like, well, she said no comment. So she must be guilty. Like why, you know, even going on the stand to explain it. Like I went on trial a year later, by then I'd forgotten. And it was a sort of, the, the whole arrest and the police station, that was that was traumatic for me. So I tried not to remember anything, mm -hmm. the day, that event, whatever. So by the time it got to court and they were like, oh, take the stand, I was like, I don't 
friggin' remember. I was like, I don't know. Guilty, man. Guilty. That's take me to jail. Come on. So I'm done. The, I'm the ready. Year, that yeah. year, was you in jail? Was you in no. or was you out on bail? They <laughs> bailed. Yeah, they, I was out on bail. And then in between that time, I had to go to a hearing and then enter my plea. And then there's like a whole process to it because mm. apparently it was so bad that uh, it just took a year to go on trial, like. <laughs> wow. So silly. And the only reason why at my hearing they didn't um, put me on remand is because I was going to uni at the time. I was in uni and I was mm. just like, so they were like, oh, because you go uni, we'll try and use that to keep you out of jail. Okay. Um, and I knew that even if I was on remand, it would take off however much time, but there were still people who were holding out hope that I wouldn't go to jail. So it's like, if you go on remand and you're not found guilty or, do you know what I mean? Then you've wasted all that time. Okay. Deep down, I knew I was going to jail anyway. So I took that year off and I partied hard. (laughs) Instead of studying Uh, good, you were over partying. Yeah, I was like, yeah, dead that. I will just, I'll go ham for a year because I'm going to jail. I know it in my bones. I could feel it. I knew it. So, um... Yeah, like they basic. I remember actually one of the solicitors saying to me, um, the minimum sentence is five and the maximum is life. You could go to jail for life. And I was like, don't be so stupid. <laughs> I nearly shut myself though. But I was like, don't be so ridiculous. Yeah, because I was going to ask, where yeah. did you get this attitude? Because you just see, even right now, I'll sit next to you, right? You seem very mm. nonchalant about any like yeah, yeah no like, really. why do you get but that? is that not gen z though is that no, not no, how they are? let's not give credit to gen z yeah. <laughs> i'm not gen z so i, feel like she, I don't I know, know what gen z I feel is like she has a lot she has depth of where, where this come from this sort of like not taking things to because i'm sure mugsy like uzo would, i don't know what uzo would do in this <laughs> situation i've been in i've been in weird mad situations not, not like not, this, not, not like this but the same thing she was saying, you gotta remember, yeah. Mm. There was a car bought off someone and that car had history. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. There's been like that car anytime is police with arms. Mm. But obviously, you know what we do back in the day where you're not trying to change the logbook. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because obviously oh, I'm adding more orders to the car, so you're just yeah. driving around and they're just always assuming. Mm-hmm. You know, bruv, I know, even something I got on my thing till this day is because of that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So I've I've been in them and it's it's, it's no, not. No, but I'm talking about like where where the solicitor is telling you, oh, you're looking at a minimum five. Maximum and life. life. And you're like, oh, don't I'll be, be silly. I'll be like, upset, you know what I mean? I was like, that's like, so ridiculous. Yeah, like, don't be dramatic. <laughs> don't be that's dramatic. So, yeah, like, no, I was just like, are you joking? They're really going to send me to jail for life because I had a taser. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, didn't well, didn't like, I didn't shoot nobody. She's like, I didn't shoot nobody. no. Yeah? no and like, you're telling me they're going to send me to jail for life. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's like so many little like rapey people running around. Do you know what I mean? I'm going for life. By the way. What did I do? And also, where is the evidence that I've used it? Who have I hurt with it? True. Who did I her. I didn't hurt anyone. I haven't done anything wrong. Thanks for listening to the In My Opinion podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Until next time, peace.